Welcome back to another episode of our Message Recap, the show where uh, we recap our messages. Can Kevin- you expound on that? <laughs> well, we give a message every single week. We do. Are we and, a church? And because you and Shaheen like to talk excessively, but you're not allowed to on Sunday because right. we have a certain amount of time. Kids got to get picked up from Sunday school. You know, there's that whole ordeal. That's why when I speak, it's always shorter. Okay. Isn't it? <laughs> right. I didn't go 40 minutes. Not this week, you didn't. Right. Okay, that's anyway, all Anyway, there's more about. to talk about. Yes. So that's why we do these, because mm-hmm. if there's maybe mm-hmm. something you missed or something you want to expound on, mm-hmm. we can do it here. Right? Yeah, yeah. And we have Ray Dean joining us today. I was going to say, it uh, yep. looks like Shaheen found his uh, in touch with his feminine side. Yep. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> he didn't? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Ray Dean is joining us. Shaheen's out this week. We, uh, mm-hmm. We're adding a feminine touch this week. Yeah, there you go. There. You're the one. Lucky you. <laughs> Lucky you. Okay, but anyway, uh, we close out our series, Good News. Mm-hmm. Kevin, you spoke. Yeah, well, it was a great series, wasn't it? It really, was good. Uh, the good news of Christmas, and there's so many different aspects of why it's good news, you know, so God coming to us, revealing the Father, bringing us to Him, and then we close it off with this whole concept of it's just not pie in the sky when you die. I mean, we get heaven, but... yeah the presence of God lives with us now in life. And so I, I thought it was a, it's a very hard concept. I think most Christians, I, I believe because it, it took me a while, I think most of us have a hard time with this presence of God thing. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's important. It's, it's God's amazing gift to us that he is with us right now, you know, that he's living with us. And so that was kind of the gist of the message that we uh, that we're not going to be introduced to God when we go to heaven. We actually introduced to God when we put our faith in Jesus Christ and the presence of God, the familiarity with God, is now. We don't have to wait till we see Him face to face. And so, but I, but I do think that it's probably uh, something we as Christians it's one of the hardest concepts to get. Yeah, and that's why that little phrase at the end there. I think kind of capsulize this knowing kind of starts it and i think we remind each other too that uh, when you're feeling down oh remember what god said that he's always gonna be with you and that reminder helps it does it's it's like knowledge knowing that god's there helps but it goes way 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 more than just knowing Mm -hmm. when we experience god we don't have to remind ourselves he loves us oh that feel that solidifies that thought you're like oh okay yeah yeah we feel that love, yep. you know, and we feel that peace. And uh, I know you guys have been in situations, and it's awesome when you see a, a Christian in a horrible situation. You know, somebody gets sick or they lose something, you know, a horrible situation, and you see peace mm-hmm. on their face. You see peace. Like, wow, that's the presence of God. Yep. You know, and so we've experienced it. You've experienced I've it. I've experienced it, yeah. Yeah, it makes a difference. And I think that's a thing that, well, that's kind of somewhat of what we highlight in this series is what I think is lost is why Jesus came is so we can be with God, so yeah. we can have a relationship with God. And that's kind of what you're talking about is uh, he's with us. You're not, you don't accept Jesus to live a, a certain lifestyle of, you know, obedience and doing the, the right things, checking off the list. It's you accept Jesus so you can have a relationship with God. He's here with mm-hmm. us. So to kind of recap the series, I mean, week one was we talked about how Jesus came to us. Mm-hmm. Uh, second week, we talked about how he came to show us what God... The Father. Yeah, he came to show us the Father. Mm-hmm. Uh, third week was he ultimately came to bring us mm-hmm. to God. But in the meantime was this week, and that's God is with us. With us. He in, is with us. In this life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think it's actually like one of my favorite weeks that we did out of the series. Because, and the last part of your message was so solidifying for me. And it's just a great reminder, the knowledge. Yeah, I mean, we all know what Jesus did. We all know that that happened. But it's that extra part and experiencing it made, mm-hmm. makes such a difference. And it helps us with our testimony. Um to tell other people about what we've experienced to help them um, mm-hmm. in their spiritual growth and journey. Mm-hmm. 
uh, life, even though we go to heaven when we die, life would be a real bummer mm. without the presence of God. Mm-hmm. Without that experience. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It I would really wholeheartedly be tough. agree. Yeah. And uh, when we say the difference between a, a Christian and a non-Christian is we pretty much all act the same generally. Mm-hmm. You know, it's yeah. not that much difference. Uh, the real difference is we have the presence of God. And wow, we, he, uh, he changes everything. Mm. Yeah, it's good news. That's good news. It's great news. It's good news. It it is. Uh, it's great mm-hmm. news. Mm-hmm. I I like to throw in just in my personal life. Yeah, I like to throw in the word enjoyable. Um, God wants us to enjoy a relationship with Him. Mm-hmm. And so so many times we talk about Christianity as being this hard thing, and man, following God's tough, and it's. Uh, God really just wants to enjoy us. He wants us to enjoy him mm-hmm. more than anything. Mm-hmm. Enjoy the relationship. I know it's Christmas time. I'm thinking about my family coming over and stuff that just enjoy being together mm-hmm. is what life's all about. Mm-hmm. And it's enjoying being with God is really the source of our life. Well, I think a lot of us miss the mark where that's, It's really what Mm -hmm. it's all about. And I think back a few weeks ago, if you guys remember, Shaheen talked about in one of our staff meetings how the weekend before in the service, there came a point at the end where he set aside some time where we were just all going to sit and Mm -hmm. spend time with God. And he said he got this sense that when he got to that point, it was like he almost heard from God like, okay, finally, like the message is over now. You, mm-hmm. we've finally gotten to this point where you guys are just going to sit and be with me. And that's what it's all about. That's what he wants. And God's thinking, that's what I wanted the whole time. <laughs> yep. Right. Yeah. And it's the part that we do the least. Yes. I mean, it doesn't mm-hmm. matter who you are. It's, we check mm-hmm. all the other boxes. We'll read our Bible. We'll go to church on Sunday. Most of us, mm-hmm. uh, well, we try to, um, And we try not to swear and we try to give and we try to do all this live a Christian life. But it's And God's sitting there the whole time. Going, okay, I'm right here. Wonderful. That's that's really nice. But what do you think is the biggest culprit of producing that mindset where we feel stressed about, where we totally miss the mark of spending time with God because we're so focused on, I got to do the right thing? Yeah. Where does that come uh, from? My personal opinion is we just live in a, a do society, a do world, you know, that. You, you earn recognition, you earn love. You know, mm-hmm. people say, even, even married people say, you know, unconditional love. That's, that's just not true. There, you've never had an experience in this exist. world with unconditional love. <laughs> yeah. That's impossible. So we're so conditioned to do and to earn that it just comes into our Christianity. But that is, the whole message of Christianity is opposite of that. Mm-hmm. It's opposite of that. I did all the earning and doing. Will you just be with me? Yeah, I did all this not so that you would play games, not so that you would work for me. I can do all the work myself. I, mm-hmm. I did all this so that you would be with me. So be with me, and it's a hard. You said it. it it's the hardest thing to do, but it's the easiest thing to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I think on your point, like it's a cultural, it's a culture thing. But people yeah. want. Look at me, look at me. I'm doing all the right things. It doesn't matter. Like God doesn't care about all that stuff. Yeah. He cares about that relationship and that's something people can't see. Um I mean that's it's just a super personal thing and yep. so it's easy to quote unquote skip that part because you're too busy focusing on what everybody else is watching. Well, we've talked about in that circle of, you know, the heart of God that, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. the point of Christianity where it's we're saved so we can spend time with God so we can experience life change. We just skip that second one. We think we're mm-hmm. saved and try to jump straight to mm-hmm. life change, but that comes through mm-hmm. spending time with God. Jesus didn't come so we can follow a set of rules. No. Jesus came so we can have a relationship with God. Yeah. Right? So let's do that. Mm-hmm. So we can have an enjoyable relationship yeah. with God. Let's do that. Mm-hmm. Let's just shut everything off and enjoy God. We can enjoy God through worship. We can enjoy God through reading the word, not to cover uh, passages, but to take it in. We can experience God by fellowship, mm-hmm. means visiting about you know what God's doing in our life. We can uh, experience God through our own just personal quiet time. There's many t- ways to experience God, 
but let's experience God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then we don't have to remind ourselves, oh, that's right, God loves me. We know God loves us. Mm -hmm. When I say, God, give me peace. No, we have peace. Mm -hmm. You know, when we experience God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good news. That's it. Good news. Okay, well, that's uh, that's our series, and the latest message is called With Us. That'll pop up here in a second. You can watch that if you haven't done so already. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, come back next week. Uh, we have an online message this upcoming Sunday, so yep. it's not really going to be much to recap. Maybe. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe not. We'll see. Either way, we're starting a new series after this upcoming after, Sunday. Yep. Uh, so... Nonetheless, we will be back. But uh, thanks for watching. Have a great Christmas. We will see you soon.